Hello YouTube, this is my Sony VAIO VGN UX1 XN sort of a micro laptop or UMPC or whatever you want to call it. Now these were brought out originally in roughly about 2006, um, coming with uh, Windows Vista and 1 gigabyte of RAM, yes that's right, 1 gigabyte of RAM with Windows Vista, um, Intel GMA945 chipset or 950 um, touch screen fingerprint reader dual cameras uh, CF card slot um, and this funky little dock that um, this is in which uh, this allows you to connect it to it gives you sort of three USB ports um, network ports um, firewire port and uh, VGA out now, originally when I got this machine it had Windows Vista on it. Um, I was not happy with the performance of Windows Vista, I'll tell you that for, for sure. Um, Sony actually put a lot of bloatware on this machine. Now, until recently I've had this in, in a drawer because um, you know it never performed well. And really I couldn't be, be bothered to sort of spend time trying to sort it out. But recently I... Uh, decided to sort of search around the web, see if there was any anything about it out there, etc. So I did have an idea of putting Windows 7 on. Um, so anyway, I came across forums called uh, micropctalk.com forums, and they have a lot of useful information about these machines, um, whether you want to upgrade to Windows 7, or whether you want to put um, Mac OS on, on, on these machines. You know, uh, there's a lot of information there. Um, not where to get any sort of um, dodgy downloads or anything like that. You know, uh, that's just not on. So, you know, if you're looking for that, go elsewhere. Anyway, with this with this machine, um, first of all, I decided, you know, to get rid of this and put Windows 7 on. I decided that because of the specs of the machine, it is like a... Core Solo 1.33 gigahertz, one gigabyte of RAM. Does have the Intel chipset. Does have a 32 gig SSD hard drive. Yeah, SSD. Even though it's such an old machine, um, now that's in the format of a 1.8 inch sort of ZIF drive, um, which you can still get hold of and get bigger drives for, etc. But at the moment, you know, the 32 gig in there is more than enough for what I want. Um, so anyway, I put Windows 7 Starter on it, and it worked really well. Now the reason I put Starter on, um, I was conscious of the fact that it's only got one gigabyte of RAM, and that I didn't want to have that RAM sort of being all eaten up by the fancy graphical effects of uh, Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows Ultima, etc. Um, so I decided to put Starter on there. But to be honest, um, I was it was kind of boring. There was there was nothing sort of there that sort of excited me. It's uh, you know plain vanilla install. Um, now Micro PC Talk forums have got sort of a great set of the driver set for Windows Seven for these. Um, I hardly install. I hardly sort of uh, do recommend Gabe's driver pack. Um, that that is on there. If you become part of the forums, um, you should install those, it gets everything working on Windows 7, the front and rear cameras, the fingerprint reader, the CF card reader, uh, Sony's funky sort of uh, zoom keys to zoom the screen, and uh, this Sony key which sort of brings you to Sony's own sort of program menu, it's kind of like the uh, XMB bar on uh, PS3. Anyway, so getting bored with Windows 7, I decided to uh, give Mac OS a shot. Um, now, there are plenty of instructions on there how to install Mac OS. Um, you know, uh, there's no legal files on there for you to actually sort of download, etc. You must have your own Mac OS install disk, which luckily, having a Mac Mini, I recently got snowed up to update it, so I basically used that. Um, anyway, so, you know, here it is. Now one thing I do have to say is um, 
the actual included wireless card in these machines is an Intel uh, Wi-Fi card and it doesn't work in Mac OS. What I did have to do is uh, basically buy a Apple Extreme card from eBay, um, one of the ones that would actually go into an Intel MacBook Pro. So there we go, we're booted into Mac OS. Now let's see if I can show you the version number. Sorry about this. So about this Mac. Now I'm not sure whether that will actually show now I've got a little bit of reflection oh dear it's a bit difficult to actually get you I'm not sure whether you can see that it is very difficult to actually get this screen but it, it believe me it is 10.6.8 um, or even if you don't believe me <laughs> So that's 10.6.8, uh, running with 1 gigabyte of RAM and a 1.33 gigahertz unknown processor. So anyway, now that is a fantastic machine. Um, now just to show you the speed of this machine, running the airport card that I've got in it. Sorry, meant to go to um, Safari there. So there we go, Safari, just loading up. And boom. Right, there you go. There's uh, Safari, Apple's front page. I don't know why it's so dark in here all of a sudden, but there you go. That's Apple's front page, and it's working fine. So that's uh, there. Now, just to show you media performance, um, what I'm going to do is just load up BBC on the player. Um, now this is a video that I've watched before, so it will resume at the point where I left it left off. So don't worry about that, it's not usually going to do that, it will come to the main menu. Right, a little bit of Top Gear. One of my favourite programmes. Right, now, sorry about this, and just a... Uh, Click on that. And as you can see, I'm finding it difficult to actually click on things and uh, do the video at the same time. Right, there we go. Now, the video performance on this thing is amazing. So, anyway, let me just put that to full screen. Sorry about this, there's a full screen logo, it's very near the sort of dock option. There you go, that's stopped for a couple of seconds uh, when you're actually putting it to full screen, but after that it does uh, work very well. The video quality is amazing. So. Sorry about this, uh, I've got a kitchen light that's in the way at the moment. Um, but as you can see, that's working very well. So, last thing to show you is shut down and restart. Now, sleep will never work on this at the moment. Um, well, it hasn't done so far. No one at the Micro PC Talk forums knows how to get this to sleep so far. Um, it does shut down and restart. Um, the, the network does work with a patch, um, the Ethernet that is. Um, you do need to change the wireless card. Um, the compact flash reader will work with a patch. Um, the touch screen will work with a driver, but that one actually costs about £52 at the moment from touch base. Um, I probably will get it, I think it's worth it to have a Mac that's a touch screen, but that's just me. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, just to show you how fast this machine is again, I'm going to actually shut it down and restart it. Just to show you. Right, so I'm just going to click on restart now. Now I can actually uh, see through my hands. Right, there you go, restart. Boom, it's off. BIOS. Boom, it's installing into Windows again. I mean, into Mac OS. Why did I say Windows? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um, now if anyone does have any questions about this, I will try my best to help. Um, but, you know, most of the information that I used to get this machine this way was actually uh, sort of on micro PC tool forums. Okay, well, thank you very much, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.